Welcome, Professor Triple. You are the Vice Director of the Department of Cardiology, Charité Berlin. What is your specialty? Yeah, thanks for your welcome. Um, as nearly all cardiologists, we are also specialists for patients with uh, heart failure. These are most patients after myocardial infarctions. Uh, usually these patients had too much smoked They have hypertension or they're diabetic patients and over the time they developed a calcification of their own vessels, including those of their heart and therefore they have then lost the function of the heart after myocardial infarction. Heart failure, what are the mechanisms? Now, when the patients have a myocardial infarction, of course, they have lost a lot of their muscle function and therefore the contractility um, of the heart is uh, reduced and the mechanism here to stabilize the situation is that the um, body is activating a lot of different hormone systems to stabilize the circulation and this is in the early phases important to stabilize to overcome these emergency situation but over the time a long-acting activated hormone system, including those of the sympathicus or of hormones which we term renin angiotensin system associated hormones. This is delirious, not even only for the heart, but also for the other organs like the kidney. And that is the explanation that um, a lot of these patients, even they have survived the early phases of the my myocardial infarction situation, that they die over the time since then the activated hormone itself are toxic. Are the heart failure drugs enough? Yeah, to overcome these activated hormone systems, we are lucky that we have a lot of heart failure drugs to, 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 to stabilize or to balance these activated hormone systems. But still, we have to say patients with heart failure after myocardial infarctions, uh, they have a really bad and worse prognosis. So we know 50% of the patients um, are, de are death after a period of five years. So... That is the best what we have. We are lucky that we have it, but still the doctors cannot be satisfied. They have to look for more options. What to do when drugs are not enough? There are several options. If we do not can use any more drugs, heart failure drugs, usually the cardiologist um, prove whether the patient can have a benefit uh, from different devices. So some of the, these devices are so-called defibrillators. Some of them are um, devices which try to stabilize the um, activation of the different blendle, uh, bundle blocks which can occur also on heart failure to improve the situation of the patient. Cardiac contractility modulation. What is the mode of action? Cardiac contractility modulation is a new option. Uh, it belongs also to the device therapy where the doctors implant two probes into the heart where due to electric currents the heart cells, the so-called myocytes, are continuously stimulated and we have learned that this is a procedure which is healthy for the myocytes. The myocytes have a chance to regenerate and they are better protected against the so-called remodeling which usually occur over the period of patients with heart failure. Are study results available? Yeah, that was necessary that we have studies about that, um, especially also for devices where the mode of action is probably not 100% clear and understood. And there are at least three large randomized studies already finished where we have very promising results. We know that the patients have a reduction from the symptoms of heart failure. So exercise tolerance, for instance, improved. And what is extremely important is, is that the so-called rehospitalization rate, so that the patient has to come again to the hospital because 
uh, due to worsening of heart failure, that these rates could be reduced. And I think this is important not only for the patient itself, uh, but it is also very cost effective this, under these conditions. Who is the best patient for CCM? Yeah, that we have also learned by these studies. We have learned that patients with ejection fraction better or higher than 25, probably up to 40%, had the largest benefit. And that's interesting, and I think that's important to understand what's going on here. The CCM device is not a last option treatment. It is nothing for those patients who are already decompensated in the intensive care unit. They are not stabilized. Uh, you are thinking about an Alvet system or you just believe that the patient needs probably transplantation or something like that. Um, it is something where the patient has his benefit in the earlier phases of the disease. Stable principle under drugs, best optimal drug treatment. No left bundle block, no chance for a COT system, but still signs of worsening or progression of the disease. Higher BNP levels over the time, um, the patient is, doesn't feel fine, has exercise intolerance, and so on and so on. And I think this is a, this, these are the right patients. And with respect to the mechanism, that makes sense. When we say that we would like to stimulate myocytes under uh, the heart failure conditions, there must be something that still can be stimulated. And I'm afraid that if this, the doctors, are overlooked, they sometimes will have not the result from this device which they wish to have. They are disappointed because the mistake was that they started to treat the patient where already a point of no return had probably reached. And that must be prevented. And therefore, it's so extremely important that the specialist knows exactly what is the right patient. Professor Trippen, it was a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for your attention.